Thank you. Flying gravity. Stephanie's <laughs> comment on the fan. The microphones are on. Microphones are on. Gravity. <laughs> no way. Oh. One, two, three, and. <laughs>
matches. That means we're going to the second ending and we are going to slow down. Make sure you're watching to the reverse Cardano there, yes?
Good evening and welcome to the 72nd annual graduation ceremony of Valley Regional High School. This evening we are gathered to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2023. I am Anna Benson, the president of the class. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. The graduates will face the flag in front of the school and audience members may face the flag directly behind us. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs burned. Please be seated. We would like to present the principal of Valley Regional High School, Mr. Michael Burrell. Thank you, Anna. Good evening and welcome to the 72nd annual graduation ceremony of Valley Regional High School. This evening, we are gathered to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2023. Graduates, Superintendent White, Mrs. Sandman, honored guests, faculty, staff, family and friends of the class of 23, welcome to the ceremony this evening. First, I would like to acknowledge the service and express our gratitude and congratulations to the staff members retiring this year. Retiring from Deep River Elementary School, Rory Dempster Del Judas. and retiring from Valley Regional High School, Susan Huntley. Thank you, Rory and Sue, for your service to our students and the positive contributions you have made to the communities of Chester, Deep River, and Essex. Class of 2023, it gives me great pleasure to address you, our graduates. You are now poised to enter your next phase of life, a step I know you are ready for. I've had the privilege to observe your many accomplishments over the last four years. Your commitment to success is to be commended. You have earned many recognitions and honors, and here are just some of the collective highlights. Your academic performance in reading, writing, and math are nothing short of excellent. Your commitment to excellence has paved the way to receive consistent recognition as a high school of distinction in Newsweek, U.S. News, and World Report. Your intellectual curiosity and successful results across all areas of the curriculum maintain our accreditation of excellence by the New England Association of Schools and Colleges and the unique distinction of being an international baccalaureate world school. In athletics, you have continued to drive towards excellence contributing to our school's record of winning 
and earning more than 20 state championships and over 60 shoreline and Pequot championships. Your performance has been measured not only in wins, but also in character, conduct, and skill, earning the endorsement of the Connecticut Interscholastic Athletics Class Act School. You have been a driving force in personalizing the Valley Regional experience, initiating numerous clubs, activities, and various opportunities so that all students, no, no matter what grade, have the opportunity to participate, which supports and promotes students' academic, social, and civic development. In the visual and performing arts, your talent and creativity shine throughout our halls and on the stage. These talents also shine far, shine far beyond Valley, receiving recognition and reward at the state and national levels. Tonight, I want to take a moment to reflect on the impressive accomplishments that this class has achieved. You have spent the last four years at Valley working hard, pushing yourself to new heights and facing challenges head on. Throughout your four years, you have demonstrated your resilience, adaptability, and perseverance, especially during these challenging times. You have shown that you can overcome obstacles and achieve your goals despite the uncertainties that have arisen. I am most proud of the positive Im impact you have made on our community. You have volunteered your time and energy to help others. You have stood up for what is right and shown compassion and empathy toward your fellow students. You have already accomplished so much in a short period of time. As you move forward into the next chapter of your life, I want to remind you of the importance of continuing to cultivate these qualities, resilience, adaptability, and determination will be invaluable as you face the challenges and setbacks that are inevitable. It is also important to remember to approach these challenges with a, with a positive mindset and, and a willingness to learn and grow. Throughout the last four years, you have grown, learned, discovered your passions, and developed the skills and knowledge that you will need to succeed. The rest of your lives will forever be enriched by the friendships and memories that you have made here at Valley Regional High School. Thank you for your four incredible years. I wish you all the best as you embark on your new adventure. Prior to concluding my remarks, it has become tradition for me to, to end the remarks with quotes from our impressive and dedicated staff. Each year I ask them to share a thought or two about the graduating class. Here are a few answers that your teachers provided to the question, what makes the class of 2023 special? Here's, here are four of them. When I think about the seniors that I had in my classes, I am always struck by how, how excited they are about learning, just for learning's sake. Though conscious of grades and success, these students were deeply curious and interested in learning all that they could in my class. Here's another one. A kind, inclusive class which persevered and took pride in their learning with a smile on their face. This is a special class for me. This group has had to overcome unprecedented circumstances beginning their freshman year. Though at times it has been a struggle, they have persevered to get to this moment. I am incredibly proud of them and all they have accomplished. And last, here's another one. I have loved this class. I have laughed and learned from at least one of them every day. They are brilliant, witty, and excellent. Graduates, it's been an honor to be your principal. I look forward to your continued success. Best wishes, class of 2023. At this time, I would like to introduce our superintendent of schools, Mr. Brian J. White. Well, good evening, everybody, and it is a beautiful evening. Uh, it's very wonderful to be here tonight celebrating the many accomplishments of the class of 2023. Mr. Burrill, Board of Education members, fellow administrators, faculty, family, friends, guests, and most importantly, graduates, it is with great pride that I address you today as the class of 23 who have completed the graduation requirements for the Region 4 public schools. I also extend a special welcome and thanks to the parents and relatives of each of the graduates. 
I acknowledge the special pride parents and grandparents feel tonight. This evening is also important to family members and loved ones in so many ways. While the majority of my remarks this evening are intended for graduates, I did want to take a moment to recognize the people who made this event possible, as well as the entire staff of our schools and our district offices who supported the operation of our schools during this year. I applaud all of them. Thank you to our graduation committee and especially the efforts of our high school administration, faculty, and staff who thought of every detail in order to make this evening's ceremony very special for our graduates and their families. We appreciate the dedication and commitment of the members of each of our school boards who are committed to the ultimate success of all of the students in our schools. To the parents, relatives, and friends of this graduating class, thank you for your help and partnership along the way. You have been a strong support for both the students in this class as well as for the faculty and the administration. Education is not isolated to the school staff, the school building, or the school day. Only when there is a partnership among our schools, homes, and the community can we achieve true educational success. Our schools have been strengthened by your support of our work. You have an important stake in the success of every graduating student tonight, and I hope you too feel very proud in this moment. I would also like to publicly acknowledge the support of our community partners, including our first responders, the town governments of Chester, Deep River, and Essex, and most importantly, our families who have been incredible supporters of our schools. Seniors, we are gathered here today to celebrate your many achievements as a class, your individual accomplishments in the classroom, on the playing field, in the arts, and on the stage have been exceptional. You are a class of many talents. You have made great contributions during your time at Valley Regional High School, and you have all it takes to be successful and to make a positive difference in this world. There is indeed a very personal story behind each of you. Most of you began your formal education in one of our elementary schools 13 years ago. The road has been filled with special moments, and tonight is its culmination. Every one of you has had many successes and setbacks, achieved significant milestones, made sacrifices, and met special challenges on the path to this moment, your high school graduation. As your superintendent, your individual and collective achievements give meaning to my work and to that of all of the staff in our district. Class of 23, you rose to meet various challenges and have succeeded. Your efforts are evidence of the strong character and commitment to community that you have developed throughout your K-12 experience. These are the attributes that define you as a class. As you progress through life, no matter where in the world you are, I hope all of you have opportunities whenever possible to give back to the community that you call home. Volunteerism and service to others are fulfilling parts of life and a civic responsibility that we have to one another. With the conclusion of this journey begins the rest of your life. For many of you, that will include higher education, entrance into the workforce, and service to our country. As you set forth to forge your path in life, I encourage all of you to always remember what you have learned here. The communities of Chester, Deep River, and Essex have given each of you so much during your time in our schools, and you are entering into the next phase of your life with all of the advantages of a Valley education. Given all that you have achieved so far, you will certainly become the leaders of the future the decision makers and policy makers who set the direction for our communities, our state, and our nation. We hope that the education you have received will enable you to take on those leadership roles with compassion, thoughtfulness, and integrity to help us shape a better world. You are well prepared to set out and chase your dreams, pursue careers, and to make a positive, meaningful impact on the world around us. All of us here in Region 4 will watch with great interest, great expectations, and a powerful sense of pride in each of you. Class of 2023, I have no doubt you will accomplish great things. After all, you're just getting started. On behalf of your faculty and staff, I congratulate you on your graduation, and I wish you all the best as you continue your journey in the years ahead. Thank you.
The VRHS Select Choir featuring Elliot Stack on piano will now perform No One Is Alone. Now I'd like to introduce our honor essayist and have her come forward again, Anna Benson. Good evening, families, friends, teachers, and the class of 2023. It is my great honor to stand before you today to reflect on these past four years. I want to open with a question that we were all asked when we were younger. What do you want to be when you grow up? 
As a child who wanted to experience everything, I gave each person a different answer. To some, I said a doctor, to others, a professional athlete, and sometimes it was a simple, I want to be rich. I always found it surprising how our society expected our youth to know their destiny at such a young age. And here I am at 18, still unsure which path to choose. But during these four years, I have learned that uncertainty is okay. It means that we are questioning who we are while striving to make the most out of our lives. Uncertainty is not a concept to fear, but rather an invitation to explore the unknown. It encourages us to step beyond our comfort zone and embrace new challenges. This is what makes graduating high school so exciting. Up until this point, nearly everything has been written for us. We had to show up for 740, we had to take a math class, and we had to do summer reading. But when we leave here tonight, the world is wide open. No one is writing our story for us anymore, and we have an abundance of opportunities. This can be scary, especially when concern about making the wrong choice creeps in. But these past four years, we have gathered people and experiences that will help us navigate the many paths before us. While we may not remember the papers we wrote or the math tests we endured, we well remember the people that we experienced these with. For me, this was the soccer and softball teams, the IB cohort, Mrs. Fergola's 408 lunch crew, and several other individuals who have supported me in my journey. These people will be different for each of us, but all of these supporters have helped us navigate uncertainty by providing perspective, companionship, and that extra push forward. And sometimes that extra push, at least for me, was to let loose a little and enjoy all the fun that high school has to offer. I used to be someone who saw academics as the only key to my success. However, I have learned that there is so much more to experience than what we read inside our textbooks, and that outside the classroom, life is not so serious. These past four years, our class has made many countless memories together, but I will have to keep some out because my mom is here. <laughs> but I would like to speak to some of our favorites. On the first day of school, we planned a senior sunrise at Essex Docks at 6 a.m., and not surprisingly, only the girls came. <laughs> many of our favorite memories have also come from Valley Athletics, through which we have become permanent members of Warrior Nation. During football season, when Valley played Cromwell, the student section decided to bring flour to the bleachers for some extra school spirit. Flour and rowdy teenagers was quite the combination, and by the end of that intense fourth quarter, we were all coated in white. But my favorite memory came from one of our last. We finished our senior year with senior reception when we got to dine with the sea animals, and that one penguin. <laughs> While academics are important, it's the experiences that we have with our friends, teachers, and families that will carry with us throughout our lives. All of these experiences come together to help guide us through uncertainty. No matter your path after graduation, I want to encourage you to experience everything. Close that computer, put the phone down, and experience all that this world has to offer. Because it is the people we meet and the memories we form that make this life worth living. Thank you. And now our sal uh, salutatorian, Mateus Silva. God, not even Brazil is this hot. Good evening, teachers, faculty, parents, friends, pets and middle children, my class of 2023, and people that just come to these things. I like to thank every single person who fought to see this class graduate with such a bright future ahead. I like to especially thank my mother and father for abandoning their country, family, and culture twice to see their children have the life they only wish they could have had. I'd like to share with you all today the beauty of the word saudade. Based on a survey carried out in 2004 of linguists around the globe, it was considered the seventh hardest word to translate into English. Regarding the other words, I personally don't think you need a word for expressing different shades of white, but whatever. I'll take seventh place. Saudade is a funny word. It's something we Brazilians learn when we're still babies 
and we use it every day. The closest translation I could find of it would be a noun that's a mixture of to miss, to yearn for, to be homesick, to ache for, to long for, and to have nostalgia for. Saudade is what you feel on a plane, flying to a new country, thinking about who and what you're abandoning, because home doesn't allow you to dream or to grow. Saudade is what you feel sitting on the bleachers right now, staring at the school you spent four years making memories and friends. It's what makes you stare into the future, scared and hopeful of what is to come. A famous Brazilian poet describes saudade as our soul telling us where it wants to return to. Maybe Brazilians are dramatic or too emotional, but I invite you to acknowledge what moments or places your soul wants to return to. I see saudade personified at home every day in the form of my parents. They were once two brave 18 year olds who accepted the pain of bearing saudade and with it, constant allergies caused by the strong cleaning products at work. Children translating every school email, not fully understanding your child's graduation speech, underpayment because your English isn't perfect, birthdays and holidays away from family, and most importantly, the label of Latino immigrants. All of that just to hope that their children could finally beat the cycle of poverty and go to college. Saudade can fuel you. I know that each person here has something or someone that causes them saudade. I also know that this word sounds like, this sounds like a terrible word, and you're all thanking God it isn't in the English dictionary. But you have to understand its beauty. All of those emotions bundled up into one word can and should also serve as motivation. Saudade is what you long for, but also what you ache for. So again, I invite everyone here to acknowledge everything you feel sadness, nostalgia, and happiness for, and use it as motivation for your future endeavors. Another famous Brazilian poet once said, saudade is what make things stop in time. This is a more serene view of the word and what I want you to embrace. This moment now will be enveloped in saudade, as it feels like time stands still today, as we're at the crossroads of a goodbye to our pasts and a hello to our futures. Saudade of this school, your family, friends, teachers, and faculty should and will motivate you to make them proud wherever you go. Saudade of the community that fought so hard to see you at this moment will motivate you to imitate their kindness in whatever community you become a part of. Saudade of grand moments like these will push you towards excellence. Let the saudade of everything you and your family sacrificed and miss guide you to great things. Thank you, Tritown community, for accepting and embracing my family and I, my class for letting me join the party late junior year, and especially my teachers for the unconditional support and belief in me. Mãe, pai, te amo. Congratulations, class of 2023, one of the greatest in Valley's history, and thank you. And now I'd like to introduce our valedictorian, Jack Finnegan. Thank you, Mr. Burrell, and thank you, friends, family, faculty, and fellow graduates. It is an honor and a privilege to speak on this milestone day for the class of 2023. We've officially navigated the past four years of high school and all of the ups and downs along with it. It is difficult to believe that our final moments together have arrived. I can recall years ago in the Essex Elementary computer lab getting our school assigned emails for the first time. It was during the setup process that I first remember the number 2023 being associated with our class. At the time, for many, it seemed so far off. It still felt that way as we progressed through the years. Although in John Winthrop, we might have felt the first hint 
of this becoming a reality. And each year since, it has been an increasing certainty. Time is an interesting concept because although it is a standard measurement, it can appear to deviate so much solely based on our psychology. They say, time flies when you're having fun. I think I can speak for all of my classmates when I say school is not all fun and games, and yet it feels as though graduation has snuck up on us. The days were long, but the years went by fast. Each brief moment in time is another opportunity to cherish the now, because as we move forward, the ground beneath us will inevitably shift. But appreciating the day doesn't mean we should be scared of or overwhelmed by the thought of tomorrow. When we wake up in the morning, having graduated and crossed the threshold into the rest of our lives, in many ways we will be starting off on a clean slate. I want to encourage my classmates to truly take advantage of the opportunity we all have to begin writing the script to the next chapter in our journey. With eyes wide open, let us embrace the future. Now consider this. Every decision we have made throughout our academic journey has led us to this very moment. The subjects we chose to study, the friendships we nurtured, the challenges we embraced, and even the moments we might consider mistakes or missed opportunities, each of these choices, however small, have influenced the people we have become. Simply put, we are our choices. And like our first days of high school, our future will be filled with an array of options and opportunities. Each decision we make, whether it is joining a, joining a club or sport, pursuing a particular trade or major, studying hard for an exam, or helping a neighbor, has the potential to impact not only our own trajectory, but also the lives of others. The butterfly effect, a term coined by mathematician and meteorologist Edward Lorenz, suggests that small, seemingly insignificant actions can have far-reaching and pro profound consequences. Just like a butterfly flapping its wings in one part of the world can set in motion a series of events that ultimately leads to a tornado in another part of the world, our choices and actions, no matter how small, can create ripples that shape the course of our lives and the lives of those around us. A kind word, a helping hand, or a moment of encouragement can ignite a flame within someone's heart, propelling them on their own unique path of success. With that in mind, let us leave here determined to choose journeys that align with our passions, values, and aspirations. Let us not always take the path of least resistance, but instead embrace the uncertainty and challenges that lie ahead, knowing that our choices have the potential to create waves of positive change in our lives and in those around us. Each day, we are faced with a multitude of choices. It is impossible to say which ones will ultimately be impactful. However, we can be certain that if we don't value the power we have to affect change, these opportunities will pass us by. Each day we have the opportunity to push ourselves to forego the comfortable choices and instead challenge ourselves to imagine the future impact. When faced with a decision, no matter how small, think, what if? Put your best foot forward and treat every choice like it could change your life because one of these times, it just might. Tonight, we become high school graduates, and tomorrow, we become whatever we choose. Believe in the power of your actions, because they will shape the future. I wish all of my fellow graduates and their parents the sincerest of congratulations, and I thank you all for the past four years. The VRHS Select Choir, featuring Elliot Stack on piano, will now perform Still I Rise.
Since 1982, Valley Regional High School has been presenting an annual award to honor those graduates who have achieved excellence in their postgraduate endeavors. These honorees have been selected by a committee consisting of local citizens, including students, teachers, and town officials. I am pleased to announce that this year we have three recipients. Those are Anna Marie, class of 1993, and Bill Gilbert, class of 1992, and Adam Chammy, class of 1992. Anna Marie graduated in 1993 and her husband Bill in 1992. Anna Marie and Bill were nominated as a couple for this year's award. They are both incredibly active and generous with their contributions and commitment to our community. I spoke to Anna Marie and she has prepared a few words to share. Anna Marie and Bill Gilbert, please come forward to be recognized as two of this year's Hall of Fame award recipients. Good evening. 
today, as we stand before you, we are overwhelmed with gratitude and humbled by this tremendous honor. To receive recognition from our alma mater, Valley Regional High School, is truly a momentous occasion for us. We are founders and owners of Shoreline Collision Restoration, and we are incredibly proud to accept this award. Sometimes it feels like a lifetime ago since we graduated from Valley and Vinyl Technical High School. While we always worked in the Tritone area, Bill and I started our journey in a trade business in 2007 with a vision, a dream, to build something meaningful and to contribute to the community that has always been our home. Little did we know that our passion for vehicle restoration would lead us on an incredible path of success, growth, and fulfillment. Today, as we reflect upon our journey, we are grateful for the unwavering support we have received from this very community. First and foremost, we'd like to express our heartfelt appreciation to our two children, Allie and Zach. Your unwavering love, support, and resilience have always been our driving force throughout this incredible journey. We are immensely proud of the individuals you have become, your commitment to serving the community as volunteers fills our hearts with pride. Your selflessness and dedication to helping others embody the values we hold dear, and we are grateful for the opportunity to support you in your endeavors. We also owe a debt of gratitude to the Valley Regional and Vinyl High School communities. The education we received from these institutions laid the foundation for the skills and knowledge we needed to navigate the world of trade and entrepreneurship. The commitment of our teachers, the camaraderie among our peers, and the individual and the invaluable lessons we have learned within these walls shaped our characters and equipped us with tools to overcome challenges. We are internally grateful for the opportunities and guidance we've received during our time here. It is our belief that success should never be a solitary pursuit. Throughout our journey, we've had the privilege of employing talented individuals from Valley Regional and from Vinyl High School. We have witnessed firsthand the incredible potential of our local students, and it has been a joy to support their growth and development. We firmly believe in providing opportunities for the next generation and nurturing their talent. It is throughout this commitment that we hope to contribute to the continued success and prosperity of our community. Lastly, we'd like to emphasize that our success would not have been possible without the support and trust of our loyal customers and the community at large. We are deeply grateful for the individual who has chosen to entrust their vehicles to our care. Your support has allowed us to build a business that not only thrives, but also gives back to the community. It is our commitment to continue serving our community, not just through our trade, but through various acts of generosity and kindness. Today we stand before you, we are overwhelmed with gratitude for this recognition. We share this award with our amazing team, whose dedication and hard work have been the cornerstone of our success. We are honored to be part of this incredible community, and we pledge to continue giving back in any way we can. To the graduating class of 2023, as you embark on your own journeys, we encourage you to dream big. Pursue your passions relentlessly and embrace the support and guidance offered by your community. Remember that your education is not just the knowledge that you have had gained, but also about the values and character you have developed along the way. The relationships you have formed and the lessons have, you have learned will shape your future endeavors. In conclusion, we extend our deepest gratitude to Valley Regional High School for this esteemed recognition. We are proud to have walked these halls, received an education from this institution, and have had the opportunity to do so. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you. And now, for the next Hall of Fame recipient this year, Adam Chammy, another 1992 Valley graduate. Captain Adam Chammy is a decorated member of the Coast Guard. Throughout his career, he has served five pres presidential administrations, 
that included military missions both nationally and internationally. We are honored that Captain Shammy has joined us this evening and he would like to address the class of 2023 and the entire community. Thank you. Thanks so much. I found that sometimes when you walk up to the stage, they'll stop talking about you. So that, that was the approach there. I've also been told don't keep your sunglasses on when you're addressing people in a speech, but I'm looking literally right into the sun, so I'm going to keep them on. Uh, good evening. It is great to be here tonight. To, to the graduates, uh, I know you did not come here to listen to me speak, so I will try to keep this as short as I can. Thank you to everybody at Valley Regional High School and our principal, Mike Burrill. It is truly an honor to be here today. Valley is an exceptional school, nationwide, the best of the best. The list of distinguished graduates is long, and today, all of you join that group. I was nominated by a dear friend, Ms. Shayla Craighead, class of 94, who served as the official photographer for a, for a former president and a former first lady, Valley Regional. My sister Emily graduated three years after me. She joined the Army and was one of the only women to have had direct contact with Saddam Hussein after he was captured. She was awarded the Bronze Star for her service, Valley Regional. Yeah. I asked a couple of my classmates to be here today, but they had other obligations and couldn't make it. One of them was Jonathan Jacobson. A few years ago, he wrote a screenplay. You can see the movie later this year. It's called The Kill Room and stars Uma Thurman and Samuel L. Jackson, Valley Regional. Yeah. Jesse Good, an insanely talented artist and the son of Janet and Peter Good, who we recently lost. Peter was an inspiration to many and one of the most admired graphic designers in the world. He even designed the logo for the Hartford Whalers. Peter and Jan's children, Jesse and Justin, went here, Valley Regional. I could go on about the many successful graduates, and 20 years from now, one of you will be standing here talking about your friends and your family. That's what this school is and what the Tritown area is, one large family. We're not perfect, no family is, but we're a group of educators and coaches and shop owners and service workers and volunteers who all contribute to the future of our nation through the young men and women we're here to honor tonight. I was shaped by this family, by my wrestling coach, Lou Andajar. In high school, I worked at the Deep River Marina and my most meaningful job was as a custodian here at Valley. A couple of the men I worked with had fought in Vietnam, and I learned as much from those guys as I did from my teachers. I learned how to stretch five hours of work into an eight-hour day. <laughs> That's true. But I also learned that when given a task, you do it right, no matter how unimportant it might seem to others. I was shaped by my parents, and if you don't remember anything else I say tonight, please remember to thank your parents. I left Connecticut after college 27, yeah, we can applaud the parents, yeah. <laughs> I left Connecticut after college 27 years ago. I rarely came back due to my Coast Guard assignments. Like my best friend Pete, who's sitting in the front row, and my friend and colleague, Greg Rothrock, who is here tonight to watch Ellie graduate, and my good friend, Jackie Gleason, who's out there somewhere, who graduated from Valley four years before me, and then four years before me at Coast Guard. When I did come back to Deep River, I was always welcomed. Thank you for letting me come home today, and to all the graduates, thank you for letting me share in your day. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, brother. I appreciate it, Mike. Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Thanks. And now to present the senior class 
gift, please welcome the class of 2023 officers. As treasurer and secretary of the graduating class, Jack and I would like to present this gift on behalf of the class of 2023. As many of you are likely aware, computers have become a critical tool in our education. But as many of us know only too well, computers are not very helpful unless their batteries are charged. To help students meet their charging needs, the class of 2023 will be supplying Chromebook charging stations along with multiple chargers in convenient locations around the school. As Mr. Foxen would always say, charge your computers or not, that choice is yours. <laughs> we are happy that our class was able to purchase these gifts and we know that they will have a positive impact next year. Thank you. On behalf of the class of 2023, the Senior Steering Committee presents these gifts to Ms. Fergola, Ms. Rose, and Mr. Allegretti, our class advisors, in gratitude for their guidance and support over the past four years. You've guided us from freshman year to senior year, and we will always appreciate what you have done for us. Mr. White, Mrs. Sandman, I present to you the Valley Regional Class of 2023. Okay, here we go. Mrs. Sandman, I hereby certify that the members of the Class of 2023 seated before you this evening have met the requirements of the Regional School District 4 Board of Education and the State of Connecticut for the High School Diploma. I am honored and proud to present the class of 2023 to you for the presentation of diplomas. Thank you, Superintendent White. I ask my fellow board members to stand. We have a fellow board member way over there working on tech stuff. Thank you. Um, we are proud and pleased to accept the superintendent's report. We extend our warmest congratulations to the graduates and to your family and friends who are here today and who have supported you. We would also like to express our appreciation, thanks, and congratulations to the entire staff and faculty of our Region 4 system, preschool through grade 12, as you've worked together to make this day possible. Thank you, and again, congratulations to the Valley Regional High School Class of 2023. Jack Thomas Finnegan. <laughs> Mateus Elvis Silva. <laughs> Anna Catherine Benson.
Emily Mezik. Regan Margaret Doyon. Grace Lily Abderhalden. Elizabeth Allen. Emma Elizabeth Bach. <laughs> Olivia M. Baldwin. <laughs> Quentin T. Barron. Reed Joseph Bago. <laughs> Fallon Teresa Belial. <laughs> Ryan A. Bill. Audrey F. Board. <laughs> Samuel E. Bure. <laughs> Jack Kenneth Bow. Abigail M. Bradbury. <laughs> Henry Ward Breckenfeld. <laughs> Kelly Nicole Breitenbach. McKenna Brennan. <laughs> Samantha Kate Brookhart Bardelli. <laughs> Emma Francis Margaret Brown. Troy D. Brown. Aster George Bryan. <laughs> Luke Andrew Bucaro. Matthew Jameson Buselli. <laughs> Riley Lisa Birch. <laughs> Ryan Butler.
Alexa Rose Caligari. Ashley G. Cap. Yeah. Isabella Caroline Capizone. Colin James Carver. Parish Dakota Suplensky. <laughs> Stephanie Jane Charbonnier. <laughs> Kendra Joy Saika. Alexa Ray Clark. <laughs> Chloe Rose Clark. <laughs> Kobe Dylan Kokus. Kaya Dao Shen Calhoun <laughs> Thomas Chase Conlin Benjamin D. Costanzo. Claire Counter. Nicholas Cox. Matthew Richard Daniels. <laughs> Jackson S. DeFelice. Alden S. Delano. <laughs> Julia Marina Donahue. Aiden Scott Meyer. Leif Christian Duval. <laughs> Raquel Ferre. <laughs> Lily Catherine Farrell.
Travis Finnerty. Lily Josephine Fries. Michael Asher Galberth. Aiden T. Garrity. Isabella Rose Giuliano. Liliana G. Glasky. Justice Glidden. Elijah Serrato Gopala Krishnan. Devin Serrato Gopala Krishnan. Lily Caroline Grow. Emily Gillero. <clears throat> Julie Ellen Hart. Rhiannon Lily Hout. Charles Raymond Herman. <laughs> Elissa Norcross Hill. Jack M. Hill. <laughs> Bailey Reed Hillier. <laughs> Samuel Clark Hutchinson. Dylan Michael Ingram. I know. D'Angelo Jean Pierre. Kaya Marie Carsage. Will Kelly. <laughs> Addison Page Keyworth. Kevin John King Jr. Oh no, Nathan Knope.
Michael Richard Colmer. Catherine Kuzmarski. <laughs> Jeremiah Jack Lamarck. <laughs> Paige Elizabeth Lee. Maisie S. Libby. <laughs> Alexander O'Hare Liggett. Donna Mary Loyola Herrera. <laughs> Benjamin Marquez. <laughs> Riley Ann Marinin. Jacob Michael McKenna. Adam James Metz. Diana Morales. Noah Robert Muggleston. <laughs> Kara Cecilia Mulligan. Mackie Olinger. Patrick J. O'Rourke. Skylin Ortiz. Emma J. Palagonia. Mackenzie Alexandra Parker. Amy Michelle Peterson. Lorena Sage Preston. Richard Ray. Yeah. <laughs> Brooke M. Rankin. Yeah. 
George E. Rapp. Madeline O. Rice. Hannah Edith Rebold. Sky Gray Roberts. Lucas Brooks Rogers. Matthew Quinn Roscoe. Ellie Catherine Rothrock. Eileen K. Russell. Molly Rybicki Domler. Allison A. Safran. Andre Santana. Sienna Serene Schaller. <laughs> Sophie G. Scrivo. <laughs> Madison Elizabeth Sedgwick. Samara Catherine Shankar. <laughs> Alexandra Kate Shea. <laughs> Braden John Shea. Claire Alice Shemansky. <laughs> Isabella Lucia Siegel. <laughs> Holden William Soboleski. Mason Soboleski. <laughs> Braden J. Sparico. <laughs> Vanessa Taylor. William John Vile the Third. <laughs> Alexis Christine Whitman. Yeah. 
Andrew Yermanson. Please rise for the singing of the alma mater, which is on the back page of the program, and remain standing as our graduates recess out. the class of 2023 flip your tassels from right to left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the 2023 graduates of Valley Regional High School. <laughs> the 72nd graduation at Valley Regional High School. Congratulations, class of 2023. Please join us for a reception in the cafeteria. It's, it's roll off. One, two, roll off, ready, and... Thank you. 
everything off, put everything away, help percussion, get back to the band room.